All right, man, so look, I came across this crazy video and let me tell you something. Black people, y'all need to take notes. Please get your notepad. Look, get you a piece of paper, get you a pen and take down notes through this video because this is this is the way to deal with the police. All right. This is the proper way to deal with the police. And this is for, you know, any type of race that, that just feels some way against the police feel like all oh, police is this and all police is that. Y'all need to watch this video. So guess what? Hit the like button and subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on Instagram, all right? What is y'all doing? Follow, follow me on IG. I don't even know what y'all doing. Pause this video. Go follow your boy on IG right now, okay? Whatever I do, man, let's get it. Let's go. Okay. Can I? Oh, remind you. That's a, look, that's a young black brother. That's a young black brother. Put my car in uh, park? Yeah. Okay. Roll down a window so you all can see on the inside. Step one, hands is right here. He didn't he didn't say, man, why y'all pulling me up? Hands right there. They pulled them up, hands right there. Let me roll down all the windows so y'all can see. That's two. Come on, come on, man. Thank you. How you doing? You're good. You're good. All right. All right. So I am a concealed carry licensee. I do have my firearm on my right hip and my uh license proof of insurance as well as my ID around my neck. Can I get them for you? Yes, you can. Okay, all right. As long as you don't reach. You're, I'm not reaching. You're good. Is it on your right? Side? It's on my right hip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Now look. <laughs> he told him already. I got a gun right here on my right. Okay. I'm a concealed license carrier. Okay. Cool. Everything. He got all the information. This is this is people problem. They get pulled over and they start to just come at the police all type of wrong. If you got pulled over, you know what I'm saying? You can, of course, you can ask the police, like, all right, sir, what am I being pulled over for? They tell you, if you feel like you wasn't going, if you feel like you wasn't going 90 in the 55 or 90 in the 40, look, don't even argue. Just say, all right, officer. You know what I'm saying? My apologies. Get out your, bro, as long as you cooperate with the police, they cooperate with you. I learned that from experience, bro. I've been pulled over, what, about twice or three times? I, I think it was twice. I think I've been pulled over twice. You know what I'm saying? But but I cooperated. Like, I, I done, you know, sped. I was speeding before, got pulled over, did like a 90 and a 40. Like, I done did them type of things. But what I do, corroborate the police, tell them, like, my bad. Ooh, they let me off with a warning. And I'm black. And I was not... It was not a black officer that pulled me over. Neither one... No, none of them times, it was never a black officer that pulled me over. But y'all, y'all be so hyped. Y'all be, you put me on my high, man. Ain't no need for all that. Just cooperate. Simple as that, bro. Look at, look at, look at what he's doing. Where are we heading to? Where? I am heading to the Chicago Park District. I'm getting ready to talk to a uh, person who is there. I help them. Let me silence this call. Yeah, I help people obtain their uh, perk cards, concealed carry licenses, oh, I, things yeah, like that. Uh, I've seen your videos. You see my videos? All videos. right. So yeah. you see, I'm doing yes. what I teach people you to do, do now. You are. All right. You, are. All right. You, are. you all matter. <laughs> You're mad. You matter. So, all right. and my insurance is up here. I'm just letting you know that. Right. Okay. Go all right. All right. 10 4. 10 4. That's the city pay. Here's the insurance. So okay. question, Mr. Brown. Yes, ma'am. You get stopped a lot for your front license. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and here's this. I have no excuse. My front license plate is actually right there. You can see it right there in the back. I don't want to reach, but if you look at the back pocket right oh, there, right. yeah, right by my head. So, yeah, I just didn't put it on there. That's okay. the only thing. Yeah, but All I do right. get stopped because of it, and it is a bona fide reason to stop someone. So, right. you're good. All right. So, give me a second. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now... This is the this is the thing. <laughs> With it, as y'all see, this this young this black brother, okay, this black brother. It's just he got pulled over by probably some Hispanic cops. They look Hispanic. I seen him walk like in the back. He looked like he was Hispanic. Maybe maybe I could be wrong, but I'm just guessing. Maybe he looked like Hispanic or whatever. But as y'all see, he got pulled over from not having his front license plate on. Look, he didn't he didn't say man, blah, blah, blah. he didn't do all that. It's a simple, uh, he got pulled over. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? You cooperate, got his hands in front. He's not moving. He's not reaching. He's not doing too much. He's not, like, bashing the police. Like, come on, bro. Hey, look, y'all got to realize that everybody has a job to do. 
Police has a job, okay? Their job is to protect and serve. They pull you over for a reason. If it's not a valid reason, okay, cool. Because at the end of the day, me personally, I'm not going to argue with the police. I don't have, I got somewhere to be. I don't got time to argue. If I'm driving and I get pulled over, obviously I have somewhere to be. I don't have time to be arguing with the police. That's like another, what, 30, 40 minutes, you know, and it could have been an easy traffic stop, simple, and I could have been on with my day. Y'all be, y'all be doing too much. I ain't got time to be doing too much with the police. I, I definitely ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? They pull me over. If I feel like it's not valid, okay, cool. It is what it is. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Run my ticket. It's a $100 ticket. Okay, I'll pay that. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't get a ticket, I get off with a warning because I cooperate with the police. That's a whole different scenario. Y'all just got to cooperate, bro. Y'all don't got to do too much. Y'all don't have to do too much. When you start doing too much, that's when you start looking guilty. That's when the police start to question like, okay, what he got in his car? What he, what he so nervous about? So you said you're you're headed to uh now to I'm getting ready to go to the no I'm getting ready to go to the Chicago Park District right now. Talk okay. to one of my friends who's a supervisor up there. Oh, okay, so cool. you gotta that's get you know some paperwork and stuff like yeah, that. Nothing other than that, that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's yeah. And people swear up and down. So last time I did a video like this, uh -huh. and they don't see your face. I'm recording. No, I know they yeah, don't. Yeah, but you already I know, knows, I know, right? So I'm gonna and it was like, oh, I mean, it was a it, no, you're fine. Yeah, I know you're recording too. Yeah. And they were like, Well, it was a black cop. That's why you had it easy that time. I'm like now, if you actually do this with any, with most, you know, most, you get what I'm saying, it, it will, you'll have no issues. You'll have no issues. As long as you got your paperwork and you explain stuff, keep your hands where, you know, yeah, hands disappeared, accelerates the fear, and all that stuff. And even then, even then, you know, I've been on this side. Mm -hmm. I've been on this side. It's still a stressful situation. I know. It's still a stressful situation. I know. No one likes getting pulled over by police. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's always for a reason. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. Well, okay, I'm going to say for the most part. For the most part. The most we're part, there, I'm, yeah. I'm not, not going to make a blanket. And that's identity. okay. You're yeah. right. Yeah. And like I said, no, my front license plate is not on, and that is a bona fide <laughs> reason to stop somebody. It's like I know as soon as you pull me over, yeah. I was probably speeding, not paying attention, yeah, stuff like that. So it happens. All right, Mr. Brown, I need to yes, give sir. this back to you. I need yes, to give this back to you. Okay? All right. Yeah, You're all set. Just you guys be sure safe. That face. Yes, okay. sir. Be all safe, right. man. All right. All right, now. All Take right. care. Take, Take care, ma'am. All right. Again, y'all be thinking I be setting this stuff up. I didn't plan this stuff. They swooped up on me. <laughs> it's in an unmarked car. <laughs> Try to show you when they pull off. You think I'm playing? It was an unmarked, it was an unmarked car. See? They're right there. Dang. Unmarked. I swear, I did not plan this, but when it happens, it happens, and uh, you got to do what you have to do. So, that's the end of the video, but I look, I had to, when I seen this video on TikTok, I was like, oh yeah, I got to show people this, because apparently a lot of people, they feel like being pulled over by the police and doing it. Look, especially when it comes to black people, they don't like police because they feel like police shoot black people for no reason, do this, do that. But sometimes 90% 90, 90 of the time, you have to look at what, what did that young colored brother do to get himself in the predicament that he got in? You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, black people running from the police. Most of the time, they reaching in the car. Most of the time, the car smelling like weed, so the police asked, can they check the car? Most of the time, Black people just don't want to cooperate. They don't want to cooperate with police. And I'm only saying black people because this is the, apparently this is the race that hates police officers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about white people. I don't know about Hispanics. I don't know about all that. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I know that my community of people, my color of the people, they don't like police officers for these certain reasons. But you got to realize what do you do to get yourself in a predicament you get in? Every single day you have a choice. You have a choice to either oh, obey or disobey or go on your own way. I know we have free will, you know, we don't have to police and scare us, blah, blah, blah. I know that. I know that, you know, we um, we have all these type of things against us. I know that, okay? I know, but at the end of the day, once you cooperate with most police officers, you won't go into problems like this, bro. You won't be into problems like this. Cooperate and be police officers that, go, that let you get off with a warning. You know what I'm saying? If your record and everything good, they'll let you get off with a warning. That's all I'm trying to say, man. But y'all, but y'all, y'all go figure out by yourself. But this this young brother just showed you exactly what to do. Hands where you can see them. Even if you don't got to do it like this, you can just put them on the steering wheel. Simple as that. That's all I do is put my hands on the steering wheel so they can see it. Cause at the end of the day, I have to protect myself and I have to and they have uh and I have to protect them. So I don't want them feeling like, oh, I'm reaching for something when in reality, I ain't reaching for nothing. If I gotta grab for my wallet, also my wallet is in my left pocket. I'm going to go grab that wallet. They can look in the car all day long, pull out my wallet, bow. Hello. Simple as that. 
But anyways, man, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Be your boy, depend. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.